What's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today we are going to be doing an ABS delete on the Evo 8. So stay tuned if you don't know how to do that. We're going to walk you through it step by step. Let's get started. Alright guys, the first step is to drain the fluid, which is going to be back here. Um, we are going to use um, a little pump to pull fluid out to make it a little bit easier. Um, but that is going to be step one. Drain your fluid. From there, now we're gonna actually um, use the same thing and hook it up to the brake caliper and suck everything out from both sides. That way, and there's less of a mess when you're doing the whole project. All right, guys. So you're gonna want to bleed from both sides, um, just right here and right here. You take off the little plastic nickel thing, and then you um, loosen it with. The so we're gonna go ahead and do the other side and we'll show you the next step. So we got most of the fluids out here, guys. Next is to drain the slave cylinder thing, which is this. Um, we just pulled this off and you gotta loosen this and then it should drain it. All right, guys, so we got most of the fluids completely drained. A little bit might come out when we start removing lines and whatnot. So we gotta take out the brake master cylinder next, and then we're gonna work on the module over here, um, which we have to take out, and also some of the hard lines, obviously. There's a plate back there somewhere. Um, I think it's this right here. Can't really see it because it's kind of dark, but it's right here that um, the hard lines are behind, so we have to take that plate off just to get the hard lines out. So, and there's six going to the module. Not sure if we're taking off all six or not, but we will find out as we go. Um, so we're just going to go ahead and start with taking the brake master cylinder off and we'll go from there. Alright, so we've got the two lines off as you can see. Now the only thing holding it on is the hose. Yeah, um, it's going to be this hose back here that we can't get off because it's kind of tight. And then the two bolts that are on either side. So, and there you go. We got it out and not leaking any fluid anywhere and you want to make sure you don't get any fluid on your paint because it will strip the paint so just be cautious of that and this is the new one that's going to go in um you can see it's got the two fittings on the bottom this is where the original fitting will go and the other original fitting and these are going to the rear brakes versus coming off the module so it'll be shiny and new so now the next step is going to be trying to get out the hard lines in the module on this side but we do have to take off that plate that's back there to get those hard lines out. Alrighty guys, so we got one of the hard lines two. out, two, I'm sorry, two of the hard lines out. Um, one was a short one and then one was the long one that runs along the firewall in the back. Um, those little clips that you see, I'm gonna point to it with the light right here. Um, those are a pain in the butt to get the lines out of. It's not very friendly at all. Um, we can make our job a lot easier by taking off the intake and, you know, maybe taking the front end off so we can get closer to it. But, you know, we're working the hard way. So we're just going to keep taking the lines off one by one um, that we need off and uh, go from there. Okay, so we kind of cheated in a way. We ended up popping all the clips off um, as holes, as you can see, instead of doing individuals because who has time for that? All right. These things are not friendly to get out, guys. I'm telling you, they twist and turn and bundle. So guys, to get the module out, there are three bolts. There's one right here, two on the bottom, and then there's a harness that you have to unplug. Um, and then the whole module itself should be able to come out. Um, and we're also gonna need probably a zip tie cutter because I see another zip tie situation. All right, guys, and now we've got the ABS module completely out. Not gonna be needing this anymore. All right, so now it kind of clears up a lot of space in the back over here. 
This is the harness. Um, yeah, okay. this is the harness. This is a big freaking harness. Sorry, I just dropped it. This is a big harness. Um, but yeah, comes right off. So, a lot of clean space in the firewall area now. We are obviously gonna have to put a couple lines back on for the ABS delete. Um, these are the new lines that it gives us right here. There's one, two, three, four lines. Now, before we start installing everything, guys, um, all of the lines that we have here are gonna be OEM for the Evo, with an exception of this main long line that's gonna go from one side basically to the other. Um, they don't make this anymore, it's discontinued. Uh, so this is actually just a Lancer line. Um, it will work. We kind of mocked it up on the white Evo. It's a little different. Um, this side right here is all bent and whatnot, and it's on the, on the Evo, it really shouldn't be. But we did mock it up on the white Evo on the outside, um, and it, it will work. It just has to do a little finagling. So we'll show you how we get it in um, once we get it in. It's a little bit of a pain in the butt but we will show you the route of everything. So we're gonna put this in real quick. Alrighty guys, so we got the line in the back. Um, you can see it, it's the green line that goes all the way in the back and across. Um, like I said, this is a Lancer line because they don't make the Evo anymore, it's discontinued. So it's got a lot of extra bends down here. You can see, get out of my way, all the extra little bends right here. Um, Typically, it should come just kind of down and through the hole, um, but it works. We mocked it up on the white Evo before we tried it on this one. Um, so now we did put that on just so we could see where the line naturally rests on the back firewall. So we got the front two done. Um, you see it's attached here and on the side where the original ones go. Um, we have one clip placed, one new clip placed right there, as you can see. Um, and then we have an old clip down there where it's holding right there. We still need a couple clips right there and right there. Um, and now we're going to do the underneath for the rear brakes. Um, and we'll have a little clip right here that holds all three lines together there. But uh, overall, it's looking pretty good and it clears up so much space in the back. Um, it looks a lot cleaner. So we're going to go ahead and put on the last two lines and then I'll show you the final results. Alrighty everybody, so we've got it completely done. The ABS delete is officially done. Um, it looks pretty good. It's so clean in the back. We are missing two clips, one there and one there. Um, but other than that, everything else looks pretty clean. You can tell the difference right here between the two Evo lines. The bottom two are the um, OEM Evo, and this top one's the Lancer one. It kind of has a different bend here. Um, so we put the three clip here to hold them all together. Uh, and then we'll fill this and bleed everything once we get everything else set back up. Um, overall, it's gonna look pretty awesome. We are going to be deleting these hard lines that are down here. Um, those run to the back to the fuel system that we have in the back. Um, overall, I'm super happy with the progress of the Evo 8. So stay tuned for the next video where we are going to be installing the new trans dog box that we have sitting over here. Super happy with the updates that we're getting on everything. So it's going to be coming along very nicely. So stay tuned guys and I will see you next time. Bye.